Hey guys, Andy here, and today I'm going to teach you how to change the length of any song in Adobe Premiere Pro. So what we have here is the timeline for an Eric Mealtime video that I'm putting together right now. Usually for these videos I have a little intro right here, and then we get into the meat and potatoes of the video, or the wine in this case. But before that, we have ourselves a nice little montage video. And when I usually pick the songs, they're a little bit longer than the montage. So I could just simply drag this to fit within the parameters of the montage. But another thing we could do is use the new remix tool that's available in Adobe Premiere Pro. So in order to activate the remix tool, we need to simply go to our toolbar, click and hold the ripple edit tool, go down to where it says remix tool, click on that. And then now that we have the remix tool enabled, we can simply just go to our song, go to the very end, click on that, and we can drag it all the way to where we desire the song to be. And then after it's done analyzing the clip, this is what we're left with here. So as you can see, it made some little cuts here and there and restitched the song. But I also don't want this fade out right here. So what we're going to do is go back to clicking on to the remix tool and then just simply stretching it out a little bit until it gets to another bar. And then we can just cut that part out. Another thing you can do is go to your Essential Sounds tab right up here. And then you can get into more customization features with the Remix feature. Just simply click on this menu right here, Customize. And then from here, you can adjust the amount of segments and variations. So if I wanted less segments, I could just simply slide the slider to the left. And as you can see, it's just three segments. Or if I wanted more segments, then we can slide it to the right. And as you can see, there's a lot more little mini segments as well. And then you can also change the type of variations as well. Now this can change from song to song. Sometimes in my experience, it's kind of hit or miss, but you can have the changes be melodic based, or you can have the changes be harmonically based by sliding the slider from the left to the right, respectively. Now, another way that you can use the remix function is to open it up in Adobe Audition, where it was originally from. This is how I used to do the edits for Eric and for my own channels as well, if I wanted to lengthen or shorten songs. So just simply go to your multi-track editor here in Adobe Audition, click on it, and it'll start up a new multi-track session. Hit OK. Then you drag your MP3 file onto the track, like so. Then once it's done populating, you go to your Essential Sounds folder here, click on that. And then you go to your Music Presets here, click on that. Then you go to Duration, click on that box. Then you go to Remix, click on that button. And from there, you can adjust your target length. In this case, it'll be about a minute and a half, we'll say. So we'll change this to a minute and a half. And then you hit enter. And obviously the target won't be bang on to a minute and a half. It'll try to give you a little more leeway just in case you need to cut some extra stuff. And you can also click on this box as well to favor shorter segments or unclick it for longer segments, just depending on the song. And it's just that easy. So yeah, that's how you can change the length of any song in Adobe Premiere Pro, as well as Adobe Audition. If you like this tutorial, be sure to give a like and subscribe for more tutorials. And if you have a question about Adobe Premiere Pro or Adobe Audition, be sure to leave a comment below and your question could be the next tutorial. This is Andy, signing off for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Bye guys.